Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Fuji Film Stand, co-partnered this year with Moses Engineering from the UK and APG from the USA. With over 80 years of imaging experience, Fuji Films and Fuji Non is a well-known worldwide brand. Moses is a pioneering inventor and manufacturer of virtual production technology solutions, remote production, and image robotics. They're providing the camera tracking, the LED content server, and the remote heads for this presentation. APG Media is a supplier of virtual production technology across North America. They're providing the LED wall and the LED processor for this presentation. Now we've got lots to show you, so we're going to actually go ahead and jump into a cinematic focused LED virtual production demonstration. Let's start with the virtual production. Virtual production has seen incredible growth over the last two years. Fueled by a combination of COVID enforced restrictions, a particular film being released, improvements in real-time photorealistic graphics quality, and the adoption of LED technology. So fast has this LED virtual production market grown that we haven't had time to implement the types of standards that are common in other parts of film and television for color, for workflow, and for image quality. We've also ignored the fact that we've used live event LED walls, live event media servers, and motion capture tracking, none of which were designed for cinematic virtual production. Today, in what Moses terms virtual production 3.0, we're beginning to use purpose-designed cinematic LED tiles with smaller pixel pitches, cinematic LED content servers, dedicated camera tracking, improved imaging standards, and smart workflow that leverage the cloud in collaborative production. With this in mind, let's look at our LED virtual production setup. There's essentially four key elements to any LED VP stage. The LED wall itself, APG Media has brought along a new 1.5 millimeter LED tile designed specifically for virtual production applications. These seamless LED tiles have unique technical properties to produce incredible on-camera performance. A LED processor, we're using a Brompton SX40 one of the leading LED processors for LED virtual production. The LED content server, we're using a Moses VP Pro XR system. This is the only purpose designed LED content server on the market today. Designed to offer unique cinematic capabilities and created by cinematic professionals with decades of, of professional expertise. And the camera lens tracking to blend the virtual graphics seamlessly with the real world. We're using a Moses Star Tracker, which uses these retro reflective stars that are normally placed on a studio ceiling or the floor to calculate six axis camera tracking and it combines this with the lens metadata to drive the virtual scene onto the LED wall. The camera we'll be using is Camera One. This is a Sony Venice Cinema camera with a large format Fujinon Premista 28 to 100 lens. This lens is equipped with extended data, which provides the Moses LED content server with valuable shading and distortion information in real time, along with other lens metadata such as focus, iris, and focal length position. Using a zoom lens as opposed to a prime lens eliminates the need to pause production to recalibrate the lens every time you want to change your focal length. We're going to show you two new LED virtual production developments, both geared to cinematic LED virtual production. The Moses Cinematic XR Focus and the Moses Near Time Auto Re-Rendering. Let's take a look at this first one. We want to pull focus between our talent and the window. Most people don't know that this isn't actually possible. If you try to do this, the virtual scene will simply blur as soon as the focal plane reaches the LED wall. But watch what happens when we do this using a Cinematic XR Focus. The window comes into focus as the talent goes out of focus, exactly as the focus polar expects. Cinematic XR Focus works with a moving camera, and importantly, the focus polar 
doesn't have to change the way they work. If you consider where we're going with the digital doubles and the ever greater photorealism and virtual graphics, LED volumes will soon be displaying in much more than just a plain backdrop. Cinematic XR Focus is unique to Moses and it's patent pending. The second new development we'd like to show you is called Near Time. This won the HPA Engineering Excellence Award at last year's HPA Retreat. Now here's the problem. All virtual production graphics must be optimized in the order that they play back in real time. If the scene can't play back in real time, you can't shoot in camera VFX. But optimization is essentially reducing the image quality to lower the processing load to increase the playback frame time. Once real time playback has been achieved, unless the processing overhead allows for higher playback frame rate, the quality of the virtual graphics is fixed. This may work for some virtual scenes, but whenever a highly detailed virtual scene is required, the shot will need to go to post-production compositing, except that avoiding the need for post-production compositing is one of the key reasons for using virtual production in real-time VFX. Near Time is Moses' solution to this problem. Near Time runs in parallel to the real-time VFX shot. As each real-time VFX shot begins, the camera tracking and the lens data is captured. It's sent to the cloud where the same virtual graphic scene exists on multiple servers. Here, each takes virtual scene is re-rendered, this time with all the quality dials turned up. All re-rendered scenes are returned to wherever production wants them automatically and recomposited with the foreground talent. Here you can see the difference between the quality of the real-time composited shot on the left and the near-time re-rendered version on the right. Of course, the re-rendering does take longer, but the production can still deliver much higher quality content in the same real-time VFX shot delivery window. Re-rendering costs minimal, the whole process is automated, and no traditional post-production compositing is used although it's still available if it's required. Near time is a patented solution for Moses. That's gonna wrap up our presentation. If you have questions, we have specialists all around the booth that are happy to help you. Thanks for joining me here for this presentation.